Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday Night Vlog with your host, Franklin F.M. McKinnis. Enjoy the show. It never fails. Whenever something becomes popular, there are bound to be forgeries, there are bound to be fakes, there are bound to be knockoffs. It happens again and again. Now here you see some legitimate WWE Funko Pops. We have The Rock, Stone Cold, and so on. These very popular wrestlers as Funko Pops. These are all obviously legitimate. Now let's take a look at some more Pops. Just take a moment and notice a difference here. And this is an image that has been floating around on Facebook especially. People have shared this image because something's not quite right here. Now I may not smell what The Rock is cooking, but I definitely smell forgery. I smell deceit. Take a look at these swollen water heads going on over there on the right hand side. These are obviously knockoff pops. This is something I want you all to be aware of that yes, fake pops exist and I'm really hoping it doesn't become a trend that we start to see these more and more but definitely online they do exist and you could accidentally purchase a forgery so you want to be careful about this. A good comparison between these two if you notice Seamus. Seamus is one that you see on both sides. Actually, you see Stone Cold as well on both sides and Rey Mysterio. So you can kind of look and compare. The Rey Mysterio, the fake one on the right-hand side, looks absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with his mouth there. Looks like he has lipstick going on or something. So that's a big difference there. And then Stone Cold and Seamus definitely has more like swollen heads on the right-hand side. Just terrible looking knockoffs anyway. Now there are a lot of Deadpool figures and on top of the ones that Funko produces there are a lot of custom figures out there. And by the way there are even forgeries of customs being made. I know Far Out Man Customs, Rich Holtz, he's the one that created the Galaxy Batman that I gave away recently on my channel. He's even had somebody trying to knock off his work which is crazy. You know just making use of his name. But getting back to Deadpool here, there are a lot of them made by Funko. I think a lot of people will say, yes, there may be too many Deadpool figures made. But let's take a look at another Deadpool figure here on the right-hand side. Again, do we notice a difference? The box is very different from what you would normally get with a Funko Pop. And yes, if you look at the bottom image there, it does say Funko Pop in the description. And we know this is obviously not a Funko Pop. And that has got to be the weirdest looking Deadpool I have ever seen. It's almost disturbing to look at. Up here we have Snow White with her nice, wonderful, rosy cheeks. So cute, so precious. And then we have another Snow White. Something looks a little off there. The bow definitely looks different the way that it's molded on and her cheeks aren't rosy I don't know what happened there she I don't know looks a little pale now I hope you all realize there is a way to check to see if your Funko Pops are legitimate they will have a stamp at the bottom and I know this one is difficult to read but it does have a copyright there for Disney what you should not see at the bottom of a legitimate Funko Pop is made in China that is obviously a forgery a fake and it definitely should not be blank like you see here with this knockoff Baymax figure so keep that in mind again a way to check your Funko Pops to see if they are legitimate just check the bottom of them to see what's there you should see a legitimate Funko stamp with a production number For those of you shopping on eBay and doing trades and purchases through Facebook, be careful 
because there are some people that make some very legitimate looking forgeries of those rare hard to find figures you want to be aware of this me personally even though I want to support people you know that are trying to trade and make sales and things like that I think sometimes it's best just to stick to well-known businesses to actually go out into the stores and shop and even if you're going to shop online still you may want to stick to well-known businesses and also when you go into stores I think comic shops as well tend to be pretty trustworthy and you can actually order put, put certain Funko Pops on order through comic shops so that's another big I should say plus of going to those stores but you see here on the upper right hand side with this scammer alert they're actually comparing the stamps on the bottom of the feet what's fake what's legit another example of this I know a couple of months back it was during Black Friday that GameStop had some exclusive gold figures and there were some people that took these some scammers that took the regular figures the regular molds and spray painted them gold and then sold them for a profit so again, something that you have to be careful about when you're making those purchases online from people that you really don't know. Then there are the obvious forgeries. I'm sure if you go to places like, basically if you're in a major city, there's going to be a Chinatown. And if you go to Chinatown, you're probably going to see these sorts of figures. And then also if you're going to flea markets, you'll probably see these sorts of figures as well the packaging is all wrong you see the figures on the left and right hand side here the Thor and Green Lantern that are packaged in with other fake figures because they like to give you those bonuses obviously these are forgeries pretty easy to spot so just be on the alert people make sure that you are on alert because when you're buying Funko Pops of course you want them for your personal collection but you also want them to hold some value because you never know if you'll want to sell one day or you might want to trade one day you want to make sure that you have legitimate figures to sell or trade so just be on the lookout be careful and shop smart Unboxings aren't always a part of Saturday Night Vlog. In fact, in fact, I think they rarely have been. But as I was working on this, I went to the post office and I got a package in here from Sherry Stover, who is one of my subscribers. I recognized the name right away because we've had some interactions recently. She's uh, commented on a good number of videos and I know I've commented back and we kind of went back and forth. As far as I know, Sherry's just getting into collecting Funko Pops and with a focus I believe on Harry Potter so share if you're watching even before I open this package and you see she sent it here in a legion of collectors box which is a, you know these boxes are good for shipping out the Funko boxes they're definitely good for reusing but I'm gonna say this before I even open this Sherry I, I really have no idea what you sent but just thank you for even thinking of me to send something and I'll let that be known to all of you I really had no idea that she was gonna send me something and I notice here it says fragile handle with care I definitely like those stickers being on here there's more than one so I like that that you know whatever's inside should be well taken care of this was definitely taped up very well so let's go ahead and get to it and see what Sherry sent my way and I honestly have no idea what this could be okay there is a letter here and as always, you know, I'll read it over myself first before I decide if I'm going to read it aloud to you all. Okay, I'm going to read part of the letter here. I think part of it is um, really not necessary to share. But I will read part of it here, though. It says, here is a token of my appreciation of all the help and advice you have given. And I learned from your blogs and videos. Hope you enjoy them. I am a big collector of comic books. Since I wanted you to have something I think is special, I thought these might go nice to your collection. The other gifts, one I thought would look... <laughs> I, I keep it PG here, so I'll just say bad, blank, next to some of your stuff. And the other one I don't collect. I thought you might like it. Again, thank you, Sherry. Okay. So, like I said, I won't read the rest of that there. But, Sherry, your PS here, I will keep it in mind. I'll definitely look out for you if I... 
can. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to it and see exactly what she said. She just kind of hinted there. She didn't say exactly what is in here. And I see this is wrapped up very well. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can see what it is. Maybe you all can make it out a little bit. I've seen this before. Um, maybe it was on Gemini's side. I've never actually ordered from Gemini Collectibles, but I think I may have seen this there before. This is awesome. Wow. That's a Skeletor Wacky Wobbler. Look at the colors on that. This looks amazing. And it says this was a San Diego... So it's the San Diego Comic Con, 480 pieces limited, from 2013. That is amazing. There's some other characters there, Beast Man, Oracle, He Man, but this Skeletor, this, this is pretty amazing. I'm gonna have to get him out of the package here. Let you all get a closer look at him. There he goes out of the box. Like I said, look at the colors there. It looks amazing, and I like this base too, of course, with his name on it, Skeletor. That is an awesome wacky wobbler. And I have just, I believe, two of these. I got Ant-Man, and then I got Michonne. So I haven't really been collecting these much, but this one is really awesome. And it's definitely cool that this is such a rare one. Only 480 made. Yeah, that looks incredible, especially the gold on his face. And that skull look, he kind of... Uh, I guess I shouldn't say reminds me of, actually I'm not sure which character came first, but definitely reminiscent of Taskmaster. So that is awesome. And there is at least one more, or actually more than one item in here. Well, let me go ahead and open up this big item here. And she said that she doesn't collect these. And I actually have this already, but she sent me the the Dwarves, the Dwarves 2-pack that came along with this actual Legion of Collectors box. So now now I have another one here. And I really do like these. That's why I held on to them. I saw a lot of people selling these online, but I, I think these are pretty cool. So again, definitely thanks for that as well. Let me see what else is going on in here. And then she did send, I see, this was a comic that came along with it. And um, I want to say that I passed this one along to somebody, but I hadn't actually finished it. So I kind of regretted that a little bit. So it's cool to have this one back. So now I can't actually finish reading it. So definitely thank you for that. Okay. Got some more comics going on here. Got Silver Surfer. It says, Possess the Infinity Gauntlet. Wow, that that is an awesome image. Silver Surfer wearing... The Infinity Gauntlet. Very timely because the Infinity Gauntlet is in, you know, it's in nerd news quite a bit right now because of the upcoming Avengers movie. So that is awesome. I love this cover. Definitely going to have to check that story out. And I think that's the character, um, Adam Strange, I've heard mentioned that could possibly be in the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And then, of course, Thanos, Mad Titan there at the bottom. So let me show it to you all together. All together, yeah, that's that's an awesome cover. Oh, this is a very iconic one here. In fact, let me try to take a little further down. Okay, yeah, I'll bring just this one. Everybody, every comic fan should recognize this cover. That is so iconic from the death of Superman. That that's. Pretty amazing. This is awesome. Really awesome. I love that cover. That's so iconic. Let me keep it moving here. I'm trying to be careful as I pull these out and not bend them up too much. Next up here we have The Death of Clark Kent. And I do remember this story as well. I didn't actually read it, but I just remember it being kind of newsworthy at the time as well. This is when I think Superman, I can't remember if his identity was discovered or if he just decided to abandoned the identity what exactly happened there but I know he was kind of wandering for a while which was definitely an inspiration to um, Man of Steel the movie Man of Steel and I, I'm so cheesy I know some people maybe don't like stuff like this like that real 
flashy cover, the glittery sort of cover going on there, but I like that. I mean, comics are supposed to be about fun, so I like that sort of thing. And there's still more comics in here. The Hulk had... Oh, what if? This is one of those what if comics, which I remember these. What if the Hulk had killed Wolverine? So you actually see Wolverine's skeleton there. Oh, and look here. The reflection. You can see the Hulk. And it's actually... It's like embroidered. Like You can feel it has texture to it, the skull there. So again, I like that type of thing. I like when they do stuff like that with covers. And there's still more people. <laughs> Next up here, Hawkman. And again, an awesome cover. And you can actually feel like the, the blade there, the weapon that he has there, the bladed weapon. That's one of the coolest, coolest images of Hawkman I've ever seen. Incredible. What I'll probably do is um, take a picture of all these comics together if I can, and I'll put that on my Instagram if you want to get a better look at them. You hear some stuff falling down here. I definitely have a lot that I need to get together in here. Okay, the last one here, Aquaman. Okay, so this was the first issue. It says featuring the Flash, Time, and Tide. I think it's cool that Aquaman finally has become a more respectable character. He was kind of a joke for a while. I know he got teased a lot. And um, Robot Chicken, I think, teased him. And Family Guy, some other things. And just comic fans in general didn't really show the character a lot of respect. So I think it's cool that he has become a much more embraced character. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to see what they do with him, you know, with Jason Momoa playing the character. I hope it's done really well. I think they got a good director on board with James Wan. So I believe it's James Wan. This might correct me on that if I'm wrong, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I think really it was Injustice, the Injustice video game that made me like this character a lot more because he was he's an awesome character in that game, really good to control. So let me run back through everything here that Sherry sent me real quick. So we got this Aquaman comic, we got Hawkman, and I, I love that cover. I could just stare at that cover for a while. What if the Hulk had killed Wolverine? Got the death of Clark Kent. The death of Superman. That's another one. I might have to actually find a way to put this up on the wall. Because that, that's so iconic. Love this too. Silver Surfer wearing the Infinity Gauntlet. Okay, we got the Batman Superman. This was exclusive to the Legion of Collectors box. Or at least the cover was. I'm not sure about the contents. But I know at least the cover was. In fact, it's a number five. So I'm assuming it's just this cover. But still, pretty awesome there. Then we also got the Dorbs here, the Superman, which is Kryptonite Superman, and that aqua-colored Aquaman. And then this really awesome Skeletor Wacky Wobbler. And I didn't expect any of this, Sherry. I really cannot thank you enough. Definitely, I will look out for you with what you said there in your PS. Th this is really awesome, and I'm definitely smiling right now. I know you all can't see it, but my smile looks a little bit nicer than this one but but yeah i i really gotta find a, a great spot for skeletor because this is so cool looking well i'm gonna I'm, I'm really amazed by that thank you again sure i can't say that enough you know and you all if you just send me letters some time from time to time like a handwritten letter to me that really does you know that that means a lot i really do like to see a handwritten letter and with my international giveaway if you paid attention to that video, you should know, especially those of you outside of the country, you should be aware of that, how you enter that giveaway. And so I'll be checking, you know, I'm, I'll be checking my post, post office box to see what happens there. You know, so make sure you check out that video if you haven't done so. One more time, thank you, Sherry. Th this was really an awesome surprise. Several times now on my channel, I've given some shout outs to custom Funko Pop makers, including people like Kelly Walker, Rich Holtz, and there were some other people as well that I kind of grouped together in one particular video. And that was in the last Saturday Night Vlog, I believe, Either, if not the last one, the one before. It was pretty recently. So, um, yeah, there was one person that I left out here because I just want to make sure since he is just getting into customs as far as a, the business side of it. I just wanted to make sure that he had his footing, 
so I checked back with him and he said everything is good to go you know he's been getting orders in so now I definitely want to take a moment here to give some props to Rob underscore 182 customs and I just want you to see what his work looks like on the left hand side here you see a couple of cool figures that he's done Mr. Sinister and that character I think is about to grow in popularity some of you may know why if you're up on your comic book movies but yeah Mr. Sinister I think he is about to gain popularity so that's a pretty cool custom of him you see there he took a Wolverine figure and he basically just did some added some lines and things to it to make it look more like the comic book version or even the animated version you could say so he kinda added more detail to that Wolverine and then also there he has a symbiote. Symbiote seem to be very popular with custom makers. I've kind of noticed that. And I definitely do like the coloring that he did on that particular one. Then he has two different versions of the Joker. He has the Joker there in the straight jacket and everything, you know, tied down like Hannibal Lecter. And I'm pretty sure he did use Hannibal Lecter's body there. And then he also has Joker as a nurse, which of course is a reference to the Dark Knight movie. And then lastly here, he has the Red Skull figure. You see a picture there in that collage and then also here on the right hand side and you notice that there are multiples of these that's because this has been a figure that he is selling right now and I think it looks incredible that is definitely an incredible looking red skull figure I haven't gotten a good look at the one that Funko actually did but I can't imagine it looking much better than this one that looks pretty awesome there and he also does give you the option he does have a custom box that you can pay for to go along with the Red Skull figure. So his information here is at the bottom if you want to see, you know, follow up with his work and if you're interested in any of these figures you can give him a holler. On Facebook or Instagram you can look him up as Rob underscore 182 and then he did approve this here. This is something that he, he decided to share this number here. You can text him if you are interested in his work. So I've said this before and I'll say it again. These custom Funko Pops I think they're pretty cool to have in your collection at least get yourself one or two you know to help your collection stand apart from other people because I know a lot of people collect similar things a lot of people are in Star Wars a lot of people are in the Disney and DC and Marvel so some collections do end up looking somewhat similar but having a custom I think it really helps your collection to stand apart so consider following up and checking out Rob 182's work In addition to Sherry's package, I did get another package in, and this is one that I was expecting. I didn't expect it to arrive so soon, and I actually have already opened it up just because I wanted to make sure that it was the figure inside that I expected it to be. Now, I didn't recognize the name of the person, which, of course, I wouldn't because this was purchased by another subscriber. So a subscriber basically helped me out and purchased this figure from another person, and that subscriber that helped me out, his name is Anthony Nelson. That name should be familiar to you if you watched my giveaway announcement video. And it, again, if you have not watched that, make sure that you go back and check that out. Because, you know, I got giveaways coming up and I want people involved, you know, especially my loyal subscribers, people that comment on videos and everything, and people that have been really standing by me. That means a lot. So I want you to be in the drawings and... Remember, like I always say, if you don't win a drawing, don't have any hard feelings about it. Don't get upset about it. Let's be mature here. Just know that, you know, maybe next time will be your time or the time after that, because I'm going to keep doing giveaways on this channel. That's part of my way of giving back to the community. And, you know, I'm going to try not to get emotional here, but it's, it's been really amazing the way that the community has given back to me as well you know I didn't expect the nice things that Sherry sent today including the Skeletor figure which I just had to go ahead and put this guy up here on my favorite shelf for now you know I, I try to keep figures rotating up here on this shelf but yeah I'm gonna leave him up here for a while but uh yeah the, the way people have helped me out and and you know giving me things in return is it's really been amazing and sometimes you know people do just send things just out of kindness and I don't necessarily feel obligated to pay them back. I just, I want to. That That's just something that's in me. 
you know, I've had, I talked to a friend about this and she said, you know, sometimes you just got to accept gifts. Just let people give you things. You don't always have to feel the pressure to return the favor. But that that's just me. I like to pay people back for their kindness. I'm, I'm probably always going to be that way. You know, I try to find ways to pay people back. So, um, yeah, Anthony, getting back to Anthony Nelson, he, uh, he said that he was inspired by me to really get into collecting and to let that be part of the focus of his YouTube channel, which, um, even though that's linked in the giveaway video, I am going to link it again below in this video because he deserves, you know, such a huge shout out for what he's done for me. When I first got into collecting and, um, you know, I was learning about what figures are available out there. There were really two main grails that I considered that I wanted. One of them being that Crystal Heisenberg, which I got even though um, I've said this before on my channel. My Crystal Heisenberg, the seller was not completely honest with me. The box did have um, some damage to it. So that's why I keep him out of box. It's not just to show him off. You know, it's just that the, the box had some damage to it that the seller was not honest about. The figure itself is not perfect either, but from what I've heard, there is an issue with multiple figures of the Crystal Heisenberg to where the hat has like little crack in it. But I think that's just something that happened with the mold and the making of the figure. So I've kind of gotten over that. But yes, yeah, the, the, the box being damaged, that was disappointing. But anyway, there's another um, figure that I, I really wanted. And Anthony Nelson being such a nice guy, he's been on the lookout for that figure for me. And, uh, you know, he, he tagged me in a couple of Facebook posts and I checked them out, but always it was out of my price range. And there was this one time when a guy said that he was willing to trade the figure, but he wouldn't let anybody know what he was in search of. I felt like he was just maybe just wanted to show his figures off, wasn't really honest about trying to do a trade and it was really aggravating. So I just left that alone. But he did, Anthony, he did come across another legitimate looking post for this particular figure and he was trying to work things out with me to see what kind of deal I could cut. And I just told him, I'm, I'm, you know, I was broke at the time. I'm, I've said this many times. I'm not a wealthy man. I have to try to get things along the way. I know it seems like I have a ton of figures, but really a lot of it is through trades and some of it's through people helping me out and me paying them back. And, you know, I, it's, it's not as if I paid for every single thing that I have here. A lot of it has been helping, you know, get some friends. So, so yeah, I'm just not a wealthy man. So that's why buying this figure, this particular figure that's in this box, just, I really didn't think it was going to happen for me. But Anthony, you know, being such a kind guy, just an amazingly kind guy, he said that he would go and get this figure for me and just let me pay him back over time with figures that he can't find in his area. And um, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm still really amazed that he made that offer to me. And I know some of you are saying, yeah, stop rambling, let's let's see the figure. But if you've been following my channel, you already know what this figure is. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to keep you waiting. Let me go in and show you what I have here now. A figure that means a lot to me because it's based off of a person that means a lot to me. Notorious B.I.G. Thanks to Anthony Nelson, I have this figure now. And I'm I'm really blown away. I'm going to go in and sit him there. And I've talked about it. In fact, I talked about it, I believe, in my very first Saturday night vlog. I want to say it's the first. I have to go back and check to be sure. But I actually talked about wanting this figure and just how much it meant to me because it's really combining, you know, what, what right now is my number one hobby. You might as well say, of course, I still do writing and some other things as well. But yeah, Funko Pop hunting and collecting and doing these videos related to them might as well be my number one hobby right now. And it's a crossover with this individual, Notorious B.I.G., who really meant a lot to me. I, I still think he's the greatest rapper of all times. His versatility as a rapper and as a writer really pushed me to be versatile in my writing. And yeah, I mean, he's just an inspiration. And I have a lot of clear memories related to Notorious B.I.G. I remember the very first time I heard him on the radio, um, it was the song Unbelievable, and it was part of a mix. So I hadn't heard Juicy yet, which was his first single. That wasn't even out yet. So I heard Unbelievable, and I was just like, who in the world is that? Like, his voice just stood out immediately. It just grabbed my attention. And, you know, of course, once he came out officially, I, you know, I put two and two together. I quickly realized that was him, and I was like, 
wow, he's just amazing. You know, amazing artist that really drew me in quickly. And, uh, you know, of course, I followed his short career and everything. And, it, yeah, it's just, it was very unfortunate. I remember very clearly, too, the moment on um, MTV News when they announced his passing. I mean, that was just rough, you know, um, to, he to even hear that. Because, of course, you know, he's a celebrity. It's not like I knew him personally, but, you know, sometimes we just connect to celebrities and they really do have an effect on us. They inspire us. So it's like they become a part of who we are. And Notorious B.I.G. definitely became a part of who I am because he inspired me so much. You know, not a perfect individual. He had his flaws, but we all have our flaws, you know. So, yeah, I, I still look at him as the greatest MC of all time and just really a true inspiration. And having this figure now is, is really amazing. You know, it really is amazing. And Anthony Nelson, I cannot thank him enough. And that's part of the reason why I'm doing the giveaway that I am doing it to try to help out his channel and to also help out Tolly the Tile Man's channel because Tolly has been another person that's just going above and beyond to help me out. And I, you know, I can't even say enough to thank them all and, you know, other people as well. I gave some shout outs in the giveaway video. Again, make sure you check that out. Another shout out to Sherry, you know, for what she sent to me today. Just amazing. This has really been one of my most amazing days as a collector. And I've had other days when I've been blown away. I remember, um, couple of months back I received like three or four packages in one day and at least two of them were from subscribers and it was just unbelievable so yeah um yeah and that, that's no pun there <laughs> I just realized what I said but no yeah, that's no pun there but um yeah Anthony again thank you so much for making this possible for me and um you know I want to say one quick thing about collecting I, I was going to save this for another time but i think i might as well go ahead and address this and i will close the show out with this because you all know pop of the week i mean come on this is like the pop of the century for me i mean <laughs> big biggie is just so amazing and you know I, I appreciate all the other figures that i've received from you all that's not putting down anything else but you know i, I just express how much the man himself really meant to me so yeah this this is obviously the pop of the week, pop of the month, pop of the year, just pop of all time for me. But um, one thing I want to say real quick about collecting before I wrap this up is that I know when I was younger, my parents, um, I'm trying to say this without putting too much of my family business out there, but basically they tended to make me feel kind of guilty about spending money on myself. You know, about buying the things that I really wanted and especially about buying toys. My father thought it was very immature like once i got into middle school reach uh, you know approaching high school he thought it was kind of immature to still be in the toys and things like that but the way i looked at it is like my family my family was not wealthy so it's not like i ever had a ton of toys at one time there were a lot of toys that i saw that i really wanted and i could just never get my hands on and when i was younger you know i would see images of people with these nice collections like uh as a matter of fact not even being young but when i was like in college and like when your um mtv cribs was popular and just seeing people the nice collections they had in their homes with all these geek statues you know geek related stuff and i thought it was just amazing and i just imagine you know maybe someday having that but i put it out of my mind for a long time and i think it was because i still held on to that guilt that my parents had kind of put into me you know, just spending money on, on stuff that they thought was frivolous or unnecessary. And it took a long time to get past that, just to to get the things that made me happy, to get comfortable with that. So, again, I've only been pop hunting for since December. So, altogether, that's just over six months, around six months or so. It's not a long time, but I already have a lot of the figures that I really wanted. You know, now I have Biggie here. And, um, you know, it's it's just amazing. I'm really glad that I got over that hump there and I, I embrace collecting because it really has helped me a lot. I think it's even helped with my anxiety, you know, to be able to connect with you all, you know, to connect with the community and to share my thoughts, you know, through my poetry and just in general to share my thoughts. I think it has actually been therapeutic for me in a lot of ways. So um, I just want to say this to you all out there. If anybody ever gives you grief about collecting, you know, as long as your responsibilities are taken care of, you know, because responsibilities do come first. Got to pay the rent. Got to have electric and food and all those things. But as long as your responsibilities are taken care of, I don't think there's anything wrong with 
collecting. If it makes you happy, so be it. You know, and I think a lot of you will feel where I'm coming from with that. If it makes you happy, so be it and go with it. You know, and um, now that I have this figure and I have like a lot of other figures that I really wanted. I know some of you have noticed that I haven't actually shared my Suicide Squad Pops, which, one I've, I've, which ones I have right now. It's because I'm waiting till I get um, some certain other figures in. And then I'll probably just show you all the ones that I decided to get at one time instead of stretching that out. I am doing a series with the mystery minis because I, I think that's just fun to do. That's fun for me to do. Hopefully it's fun for you all to watch. But as far as the pops are concerned, you know, I'll get to that and I'll show you all the ones that I decided to pick up. And I'm definitely going to still be on the look for some more exclusive Suicide Squad pops because I really am enjoying those. But yeah, I'll let you know about those soon. But um, yeah, so as far as my collection is concerned, I, I am looking for more Suicide Squad pops. I am going to definitely get some of those Marvel pops that are coming out, including Doc, Doc the Octopus, I think is that's probably top of the list. But other than those, I mean... This is kind of a good time for me to focus on trying to help other people out because there's not a ton out there that I'm really looking for. Anthony Nelson, of course, I'm looking out for him. Tolly, Tolly's the man. I'm definitely looking out for him, especially with these new Star Wars figures that are coming out. And there are some other people as well that I definitely want to look out for. Sherry, you know I got your back. I'm definitely going to look out for you as well. So I think it's a good time period for me to try to give back to the community and of course, there will be times, like I said, I'm not a rich man where I'll either, if I can't do a trade, and right now I don't think I really have anything I want to trade, but if I ever sell a figure to any of you all, it will just be cost plus shipping. You know, I'm not going to try to flip on you or get a profit off of you. I'm just going to try to help you out to get what's not in your area. Okay, and I'm going to stick to that, you know, stick to my word on that. When it comes to my subscribers, that's how I will help you out. You know, just cost plus shipping. I'm not going to try to take advantage of you in any way. But yeah, that that's a lot of thoughts there. I know that's probably like a, a third of the show there almost that I had to get these thoughts out. But I just really needed to share that all. And I do hope that you all enjoyed the show. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to really pull it all together this week or not. But, you know, it is partially thanks to Anthony's kindness and Sherry's kindness that I had some more here to share with you all. So, again, thank you all for that. And, um... Uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for now. And, whoa, I do have to say this real quick. As far as Saturday Night Vlog is concerned, I, it may not be a weekly series moving forward because I've put a lot of thought into it. And I've been looking at other people's YouTube videos and things. And I know it is kind of insane for me <laughs> to try to do this show every single week. I just know that it's going to wear me out. So, yeah, there may be some weeks where I don't have a Saturday Night Vlog. And don't let that have you thinking that I'm canceling the series or anything. It just may be that I, I know I need to take breathers here and there because it does take a lot of work to put these together. I've given up a lot of Saturdays, a lot of Friday evenings to work on this series, but I, I got to give myself some time to breathe and some time to unwind. But yeah, I'm not going to give up on the series. It just may not be weekly moving forward, though. But for those of you that have been watching, I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate all you. I have a lot of love for the community, and I'm glad that, you know, the community is showing me some love. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and um, that's going to wrap it up for now. You all take care. Please keep in touch. And remember, go back and check the giveaway video if you did not do so. Yeah, and that's it for now, you all. Take care. I really appreciate you.